Thank you. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, yeah. Come, come. Quickly. Hello, everybody. Good evening. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just come quick one, my brothers and sisters. Let's have a, a small word of encouragement, wisdom, and sharing. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. One second, let me just finish putting my Vaseline. You know, it's getting cold in Europe, so it's really freezing right now. You feel it in the hands. Maybe can I have some more? You feel it in the hands and the lips. Oh, yeah? Wait one second. My phone is charging, so forgive me. Can you see me? It's cold. The nose is running. Oh, yeah? Let's come in, my brothers and sisters. Before we start, I wait for all of you to come in. I want to say something because I feel like it is very important to speak the truth to one another, especially if we are doing it for the name of God. We should always speak what is true. Amen. As you have seen the title, I just want to ask my brothers and sisters, why are some of us causing and bringing confusion in the kingdom of God and in the body of Christ and the church? Amen. This evening, the reason why I come, because it didn't offend me. But I felt like some of us, some of us, are, we are spiteful people. Do you understand what I mean? Forgive the light in my house in the night. The light is, is not that bright. It's that LD kind of light. But I hope you can see me and hear me. I feel like some of us in the body of Christ, the people who, who say we love God, we are very spiteful and evil. We are loving God on the other side and we are killing and destroying the things of God on the other side. I want to share something and it might offend some people. Please, if I offend you, forgive me because it's the truth and I do not do things to please people but to speak the truth for God. This day when we were doing the praise this afternoon, you know, this morning, I mean afternoon, evening, whatever time it was today. When we finished doing the praise and worship, I left everything, you know, I came, I sat. You know, on the link there where I asked, let's feed the people in need. There was a man, he came to comment there, he said, Ada, Stop asking for money, money, all the time asking for money, money, blah, 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 blah. So I responded to him in short. I said, my brother, don't allow the devil to use you. You came to my page. You saw me here on this page. You saw me singing. You saw me dancing. You saw me encouraged through the wisdom and the Holy Spirit of God and also the word of God that is directly the praise of God and the word of God, which is always on my lips. I said, you did not choose to tell me anything about stop singing. You decided to go and attack over the money and to also start a conversation which will spark nothing good on my page. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to check this man's profile. When I went to the profile, I see where the man is coming from. I see that the man is from Kenya. And I just want to say this. It's not to attack Kenya and for all the Kenyan people, please, I know you like to fight for your country, but let me just speak because I'm coming to your country for your hospital, not because I hate you. But this made, I asked God, I said, Father, the man said, did Jesus go and ask for money to feed the poor? I said, Lord, me, I'm not you. I am your vessel. You know my financial situation and you know my life and everything I have, I share. I don't charge for this talent. I don't go to the studio. I don't get money online here to promote my music or to go and make an album for me. All of you see me here. I use instrument of other people and I come here to save God and I'm consistent with asking for that one year. Let's help to feed other people. But when I looked at the man is from Kenya, I told the Lord, I said, how can this man be a man of God and come in a very spiteful way like this on my page. Because the man is coming for me that I'm a liar, I'm stealing money. But the question is, do you have an idea of how many Kenyan people are getting help from this same money that you insult here on Facebook? Do you have an idea how many kids get food from this? Do you have an idea how many women get money for business from here? School fees for children. Do you have an idea? No. No. And a lot of people would expect me to keep quiet because that's the perfect idea. But I consulted the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit gave me a title for people like that. People who like to confuse, who like to bring confusion to the body of Christ, to the kingdom of Christ. You know why? You pick what you want. 
I'm not making money on Facebook here. I refuse to make money by tithe and seed. Not even offering. One euro is to ask you to help me feed somebody. And then when the man said, there's, there's a, a, a right way to do this. I said, yes, that's why I don't take 30,000 from Netflix to advertise on my page like other pastors are doing here online. They are saving the word of God. They are taking money in their PayPal. And at the same time, if you see a page running advertisement, it means the owner of the page accepted to advertise on their page. So when those advertisements are playing on Facebook, they are not free. People make a lot of money on them. Have you ever seen an advert on my page? No. So I was so angry with the man. I said, this is spiteful. This man is, believes he's a man of God, sharing all the things of God. And I asked him, I said, didn't the same God say that if one of us is hungry, we should feed them? If I was selfish, why didn't I become myself famous? Why am I feeding people up to now? Two years and a half, saving God and consistent in feeding people. Did I change my identity? No. I want to say this. Stop bringing confusion in the body of Christ. And you people online here, you are spiteful. But every person that you do not like because of your spitefulness, you need to know, you need to know that these people you are insulting online, they feed fellow citizens from your country. And if you do not like it, it sounds bad to you. Show love and respect and gratitude because a Kenyan child is that man's child too. And I'm not the type of Christian. And, and I, asked him, I asked him, I said, you know, you are telling me not to collect one euro a year to feed people. Do you think God will ever be angry at me for refusing 30,000 of Netflix and other advertisement deals every week so I could make millions? He would be angry at me for not doing that. He would be happy with me, I mean. You confuse me because you bring a lot of confusion. It's not fair that we choose to attack where we want. And when I see Kenyan people attacking me, I do not get offended. I see where you are blocking blessings for other Kenyans. The same as Zambians. Zambians insult people who are good to them. And then other people from other countries, they do look at your nationality. They look, oh, South Africans. You are putting other people. You who is online, sir, you said that I shouldn't feed people. I don't take tithe. My ministry don't take offering. Even people who think they give me tithe to my ministry, I look at them and say, may they know that they are giving the Lord. Even Sharon, my manager, will tell you. They give God. I don't take man tithe. The money that I take is money to feed somebody. And the reason why I started, and I need a lot of Kenyan people to stop having pride because half of your people in your nation are suffering hungry. You do not like this, but it's the truth. Stop blocking, stop being an enemy of progress for others. It's so mean. You never ask me to stop worshipping the Lord. Man is so deceitful and wicked and that's why God is faithful. Man will come to me and tell me stop asking for one euro to feed people. But man will come and enjoy my talent Monday to Sunday for free. I don't ask for nothing. Watch yourselves. A lot of people like to say, why do you like to use the term the devil is using you? A lot of you people, you are used by the devil sometimes. How can you go and block where the bread of somebody's child, your friend, your neighbor's child's bread is coming from? I do this because I know that there's just like that man, that man is probably in Kenya and he's, he goes to a church. So he's the type of man that does not believe in helping and feeding other people. And he told me, yes, you should help people in your best way. I said, yes, that's why I help people in my best way. And this is a church and a ministry. And God has called me. And people have to respect me whether they like it or not. It's not you who called me. And when you see me put that link there, I just want to inform you. All of us who are carrying ministry, none of us do things, uh, unless people are doing it. But for me, everything I do is commanded by the Holy Spirit. When I started saving God, I used to save him on my other page. 
when God called me, I did not understand where this was going to. My husband is listening. When the time came, the Holy Spirit said, shut the other page down, open a new page, and that page will be strictly for my glory and for my kingdom. And you shall not make money there, but you shall spread the good news. Am I not singing and praising the worship, the, the, the songs of the Lord every day with you, my brothers and sisters? Am I not encouraging? I even go an extra mile, I ask Holy Spirit to give me holy comedy and to also be able to discern when most of the times when I come here, it is the day that somebody needs to hear that message exactly. Am I lying? I'm not full of myself. Three, four days ago, I was talking about repentance. I looked five, six channels on Facebook. They were all talking about repentance. I knew, I get confirmation from my father all the time. Before you insult me and tell me that I'm a thief, that I'm taking money, please, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, look at me well, well. I consulted with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit stopped me from advertising my page to do advertise and make money. He taught me I should take one euro offering. And there are some of you who have asked, how can one euro help somebody? I followed the instruction of my father. I'm not changing it. So before, please, you come here, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ. Before you go to any other page, don't think that in God's name you can make money. A fool will try to take the name of Jesus and make money. I am not a fool. The God of Abraham can kill me, kill this man, and kill my children. You think I would play with him? Uh -uh. God is not like you and me, friends. We go play mumu with one another and live. Mm -mm. I know that if I live a wicked life and a sinful, cheatful life and cheap life right now, my children's career and destinies are based on that. I'm not stupid. I just want to encourage you people and for all of you Kenyans who like to show off, yes, I, I do not want to degrade you. Today I will talk to you respect. When I'm talking to people here online, if you are not a Kenyan who is a problem for your nation and your people and your society, don't talk. Don't talk. What are you guilty of? Why do you have to defend yourself? Can you defend the whole Nairobi and Kenya, the whole country itself? No. You can't. Jesus is the one who defends Kenya. So if you are Kenyan in here, stop telling me that I should address one person. I'm not addressing one person. I'm addressing you because it is your country name you are tenishing. If you do that to five foreigners, they don't want to give to your country. They don't want to give blessing to feed your country. And I know you as a Kenyan who is online here, and you are selfish, you want to stand up for yourself. Include one person, just address one person. I'm not addressing one person. I'm addressing your behavior that is an enemy of progress, causing confusion to the kingdom of God, while you are saving God. You cannot stop somebody from doing right. It's what the Pharisees were stupid of. They came to Jesus and said, your people, they are working on Sabbath. Jesus said, there is no way you can say that it's a Sabbath today. That's why I can't do good. There is no reason why you shouldn't do good. The lesson has been taught once. The moral is to pick it up and walk and live in its standard and moral and command of God until Jesus comes. Do you understand me? So for all of you nation carriers who carry your nation in your head, it they yak me, not in a nice way, because I feel like it's stupid and ridiculous. If you would fight for your country the right way, some of you, your countries would do well. But you are here on Facebook. Address one Kenya. I'm not addressing one Kenya. God did not bring me just for Kenya here. And I'll be in Nairobi. I want to see. I want to see women who have the power and guts the way you people talk to one another. Just like in, in South Africa and in Zambia. I do not like people who have no boundaries. Then it goes left. God is a God of order. Don't do what you just want to do all the time. Don't say what you want to say all the time. I mean, think, pray, ask the Lord. If I do this or say this, what is it going to come out like and how is it going to sound like? Let Jesus fight for nations. You can't fight for your nation. You can carry pride, ignorance, and all of this. You will never carry the power of God. That's why even me, I come here to tell you we are just dust and the dust we are going to. I beg you, in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, for me, I think the Bible says you shall know them by their fruits, isn't it? By the type of moral and standard and what they have. You know me now almost two years and a half, some of you. 
what is different about me? I'm consistent. You call me bitter and angry all the time because I'm passionate with zeal for the work of the Lord. And I'm speaking to you as a fellow woman. I carry a ministry, but I'm a woman like you. You are my brother. You coming to my page to start commenting on my link. You chose the link we are offering. This is a church. I save God Monday to Sunday and I don't charge God for anything. I give my talent freely to the Lord and I don't regret in giving my talent to the Lord. There's even a benefit and a bonus which is great to be able to provide food for somebody else's child. How amazing is that? It gives me the passion every day. Every day. And I know some people do not have compassion to be able to feel other people's pain. But my husband is here, he can tell you there are a lot of people who are hungry out here. And some of you people can't even tell you that they are really hungry because they are afraid of your malice and vicious ways. Katafishi way. Katafishi way. And then it makes me wonder that you have God. You left your page where you are saving Jesus. You came to somebody else where they are saving God and decided to bring confusion. Which is God? Hey? Which God? And a lot of you are so worried about your money. The reason why your money goes to fake profit is because you will see them by their fruit. And me, my fruit is seen because I do not know any person from, face, from in person here. Everybody connected to this ministry has been chosen. They came through online and they see the works I do. The businesses, I help single women and single mothers. The food I give to children who need and not to show off what I do. The fruits that I do, they are shown here because some of you are in this chat. You choose to bring confusion in the body of Christ, which is very wrong. You will not agree on everything as children of God. I do not agree everything with Marcus Rogers. I do not agree on everything with Mama Oji. I agree on the truth of God. And even if it's not what I want, it's the truth of God I have to accept it. When people put a link there, I never question. Only a fool would take a PayPal link and put it online without God telling them. And if you are doing it for lies, Namoni will not come because the same God is able to block that PayPal account and link. You know that? You all don't think God is to play with. God is a wonderful God. You hear me? I want to take one minute. I just want to take one minute, my brothers and sisters. Sister Nimo Mari, I've seen seeing your comments since we started. Sister Ada, calm down, calm down. Sister Ada is me. Sister Nimo, stop being like this, my sister. You are being disrespectful, dismissive, and controlling. This is my page. I said let's talk as my sisters. The Bible says if you are grieved, you are allowed to come and talk. Sister Nimo Mari, I love you, my sister, but stop clothing me with the spirit of anger and calm down. I'm not angry. I do not like it. Don't allow the devil to use you. You came on my page, I didn't come on your page. Let me talk to other people who don't listen here. And there are consequences of everything we do. Why do you people always like to tell me to calm down and keep quiet when I'm talking about things that affect other people? Do you know that in Zambia, in South Africa, and in Kenya, there are children who are going to school without food? Sister Nimo Mari. Which God is in you, my sister? Because if you have seen anger, Sister Nimo Mari, let me come close. Where is the anger? Sister Nimo Mari, where is the anger? You are spiteful sister, my sister. Hurtful sister. You know, when, it's, when somebody is pitying you, it's not a blessing. It's a curse. It's only God who is allowed to help us, isn't it? In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. If you come to people's pages that day and they are not doing the sermon and the message which is pleasing to you, why not leave? 
Why is it when people are preaching a message, do you know that when God sends a pastor, you, you are not the only one in front of that pastor. There are so many people I'm speaking to. There is 200 and something people in here. Sister Nimo Marie, are you the only one? No, because we talked about the link. And how can this talk be shut down? Children sleeping hungry. How can this talk be shut down, my sisters? Can I ask? You know the best way to finish somebody and to ruin them is when they are talking and you're becoming and you, you keep saying, calm down, calm down. Do you know that that demon, they tap the other sister and then you see people start commenting on my page here. All of a sudden people lose focus and it goes left. Sister Nimo Marie, you are my sister, I love you. There is nothing wrong about talking about money as children of God. God of order. God of order, God of truth. And I know that God is going, God is, is happy with me because the devil wants to discourage me from ministering and from feeding the children here on Facebook. That's what the devil likes to do, to degrade me, to, look like, to make me look like I'm a naga and a problem and I'm always talking from nowhere. But in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When I talk about your sister's children sleeping hungry, doesn't it hurt your heart? You think I take this money so we can get rich? Do you think I ask, I put that link? Because if I wanted to make my music career, wasn't I going to be using other instruments? You see me people use instruments of other people. It's never been about my talent. Is about giving what I could give to God. And if all of us were taking this initiative, you in your house, you are a destiny help of five homes. Me in my house, I'm a destiny help of ten homes. Do you know how many children and women we could help? And do you see how the devil has gotten us as a generation? Why is it uncomfortable to talk about money as children of God? I, I never talk about money in riches. The money I talk about is the money to help somebody eat. Eat. Get food. Get food. How can anybody ever be wrong to do that? The Lord has told me there is a way to accumulate money. The right way and the bad way. And I know the bad way. The bad way is for me to start advertising here. And then when the video is going, the video stops you people see an advert. That, that God stopped me. He told me, don't do that. Somebody came to ask me, Ada, are you serious? One euro can help people. You need to ask Sharon. Sharon is here. That one euro, I'm telling you, God is a merciful God. It they help people to get food. It helps women to start businesses. It helps children with school fees. That one euro that I correct, collect here, every week, every week, different people get help. And there are a lot of women here that are also in the chat sometimes. Me, I never have shame. I speak the truth. And the only problem I have, I, there are a lot of women that I help that come to watch on this page, that have come to ask for help. Most of you have given you the help if you came to me and asked for help. If I couldn't help you the full amount, I told you where I would help. If I'm lying, write it here. But you, th those of you who get the help, when you get the help, you actually forget that by confirming and testifying, you can help somebody else. But I have noticed there's this shame. There's this shame. There's this spitefulness we have. If we do for God, we have to benefit. What about doing for God when you're not benefiting anything? Hmm? I just want to encourage somebody tonight and inform some of you. You are causing confusion to the kingdom of God. Because to tell you the truth, when I see people come and attack me here and then I check their page and they are so-called children of God, I'm like, how? How? The same God of Abraham sent you to come to my page to come and bring Wahala here. Me, I don't bring Wahala. Even on the pages of the people I mentioned here, pastors, 
I've never gone to their page officially to go and write anything. I don't do that. And I don't question a man of God who has been called for ministry because nobody knows the assignment on somebody and assessment on somebody's life apart from the giver of assignment, which is the Lord God Almighty. You can't come to my ministry which God has put in me. My ministry for me is not a church. The ministry in me is me. God has put the ministry in me. That's why I'm, I'm a whole apostle for the fivefold ministry. I depress, I worship, I dance, I teach about marriage. The Lord promised me a whole ministry and he taught me to be a ministry that will enter anything and everything. That's why even politics, I talk, people think I'm... Mm -mm. It's the authority I stand under. So you, you were not there to see him call me. How can you ever be qualified to tell me how to run this ministry when you met me on Facebook? That's the confusion, trifling power of the devil. And then some people who don't know themselves in Christ, they start to question God. God, are you the one who sent me? Me, me I've never questioned God. Because that's what the devil would want. I've never questioned God. I've been moving and I've been hit. I've been betrayed, stolen from, betrayed, cheated at, lied, slandered by people that I started the ministry. I've had a lot of people come in the ministry, come and go. Nobody will shake me to stop saving the Lord. Because it is for me to do for God. And that's why I feel like man needs to know their place and boundaries. And for some people, maybe we used to joke last year. This year, I just want you to know. I am really an apostle of the fivefold ministry of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, of the Alpha and the Omega, the Lion of Judah. I am an apostle. God called me. And if you will not learn to respect me, don't come to my page. But the same way when you see your pastor, have respect for me the same way. I do this for God. And God has told me to tell you, in case you thought that God does not see, you did not call me. God called me. Stop causing confusion in the body of Christ. And if you stop being jealousy of us being chosen, maybe God could have used you. No wonder God passed you. You are spiteful. You are spiteful, especially men. Men, you are spiteful because you sure would have wanted to be mighty and powerful in the Lord the way he has made me. And I'm a woman. Yes, I know. That's why you say she a man or a woman. I'm a woman, but he has equipped me with mantles of men only. That's how strong I am. And if you do not believe it, he says keep watching this page. You will see him use me for his kingdom. He called me, and he knows that when he puts me to work, I will work. Let me tell you, they say some are stubborn to do work of the devil. I die stubborn to do the faithful things of God. Try her. She will not move. Stop being confusions to the body of Christ. If you really save God, you can never go and question the pastor that God has said is appointed to the church. Unless the Holy Spirit tells you so. Before you get in contact or you decide to write things on my page, I, I suggest you ask the Holy Spirit. But don't write it out of your bum and your will. Because it will cost you. Because me, when I do this, I don't do it out of my bum and out of my will. I do this with all my life. And I've never done anything right in my life. But this, I told the Lord, this is the only thing I'll ever try to get right in my life. Because Jesus is all that matters. And I want people to stop being spiteful. Stop being spiteful. You people who don't like to give. I know some of you are greedy. When you see that link, the devil's heart makes you feel guilty because the Holy Spirit tells you feed the need. But instead of actually listening and listening to what God is telling you, you decide to come and attack me. No, don't tell me, please, don't insult men. Uh -uh. Brother Olu Eze, don't be a fool and the person who put the emoji there. Don't be a fool. I am an apostle. I would like respect. I'm not your friend. I would like your comment and the friend who put that comment there to remove it. Because, brother, you have a page here. I will block you for seven months. And I know that I am not God. But definitely, the God of Abraham, go catch you for this. Because in this moment, I was speaking politely. You allow the devil to use you. You are a man, brother Olu. Men shouldn't behave like women. 
nothing cute or sweet about it i have a whole man those of you wives who are married to your men who are exchanging and writing comments on people's video you need to pray for them for deliverance that's that jezebel spirit and today you wanted me to insult you but brother olu in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit today i will not insult you and today i will not entertain you hallelujah in the name of Jesus. And Sister Rosanna Savage, don't respond to such people. This is why I say women, we are spiteful. And we are learning and I'll give you wisdom. This man did not write a nice comment. You can't write a comment back with laughing emoji. Are you my sister or you are against me? Sister Rosanna Savage, that's what I need you to ask yourself. Are you with God or you are against God? Because if you are against God, you will fight with me. If you are with God, you are going to concentrate on God. And if you feel like I'm not a qualified pastor, I'm childish, I have no focus and concentration, why don't you go before the presence of the Lord? Because the same God Almighty who has the sense and the brain that no man, the wisdom that surpasses all man's understanding, brother Olu, is the one who called me. How can I be a joke to you people? How? Imagine this is a puppet. The presence of Jesus is here. How can I be a joke? How can be Jesus a joke to you and me? And then people say I'm angry. No, I'm flabbergasted. There's a time for everything, Sister Rosanna and a, a brother Olu. Is this the time now? You love my page. My brother, is this how you love me that you would like to bring mockery and confusion upon my page? You are wolves in sheep's skin. Hmm? Sister Rosanna Savage, if you are with me as a woman of God, how can that comment with emoji be nice, my sister? Can you imagine if me and my husband, we are three friends here. You, Sister Rosanna, somebody says, ah, your wig is so ugly. How would you feel if the person who is your best friend or your husband says, <laughs> they laugh? I'm sure you wouldn't love that, Sister Rosanna, because if your man love you, he can't laugh at what degrades you. So that's why some of you, you make me wonder, how can you be my sister keepers when you are allowing such things to get to you? Because you are the people who show your true colors here. And then when I point it out, you say I lose focus. It's the truth. Hmm? It's the truth. It's so disrespectful. There is no way that people can say they laugh at the devil, even when you are in prayer. The spiritual laugh at the devil is not like the physical laugh. There is a difference. And a lot of you, that's why the confusion, isn't this confusion in the body of Christ? Brother Oli wrote, please don't be insulting me. Wrong comment, which was not needed. I don't know, did I, did I remove even one word of insult today on this page? The Lord told me, put the devil to shame. Be cautious. When you use words, I'll change your tongue. I will remove those words they call insult. I'll put another word so that the devil can be put to shame. Did you hear even one word of insult? No. But brother Olu decided to bring that comment. And then when I confront him, what does brother Olu say? No, I love your page. If the brother had the brain, wouldn't he have removed that comment a long time ago? Do you know that these comments you leave on people's page, you can save the owners of the page so that other people who come later don't come and degrade them and insult them and join you people to do these things. Why don't you remove the comments? Because it's not, that's, you can't save God and bring confusion to the church. This is where I have a problem. This is where I have a problem. It's really, it's sad. It's sad. Even when gospel artists and pastors are being ridiculed and bullied here, it is the so-called brethren and brothers and sisters in Christ that are helping the devil to do that. Today I read something very sensitive about a prophet in my country in Zambia who committed suicide. Yes, he committed suicide. Whatever problem it is. You have no compassion for people. And when you come to church, that's why God did not... 
if God wanted you people to be treating us like Jesus and to be above you as the people who minister to you that he's used, the Holy Spirit is speaking through, he would have let Jesus walk here on earth. All of us would have been ministered to by Jesus direct. But God chose a fellow man like you so that you shall remember that they can break like you. They can have emotions like you. They go through challenges like you. A man of God killed himself today. And you see these pages, they just advertise people's death on Facebook to make views and money. Pia! Like that a man is dead his body is still fresh in the mortuary his picture is just going around on facebook people sharing it now the same people of god now the same people of god and i heard the man of god say you see even men of god can commit suicide i and i look that man sister mwambe is from my country I, I'm, I agree with him on a lot of things but this time i was so angry at him i was like you know what when people are shouting at me at my page People who call me mad and abnormal, why are you responding? Mama Oji, you put us in groups. But God did not put Jesus in front of you. God put a fellow man and woman like you people to minister to you. Why don't you have seen that? You can't do that. You can't save God and bring confusion. I wake up every day. I wake up every day. Every day. To preach the word of God. For the kingdom of God. Because I've given myself. A valuable. And you people. You want God as much as I want. What more do we. Why do we allow the devil to always stand in front of us. There is time for everything. That's why the other time. To all of you that are saying. Sister Rosanne was not laughing at me. Please, you miss the whole wisdom and point here. Some of you are very big at commenting. That's why the wisdom always passing you. Some of you, the wisdom always be passing you. Because you want to stand up. Now you be Rosanna Mama to fight for Rosanna now. Eh? You go miss the wisdom of the Lord. Because you want to stand up for Rosanna. Stand up for Rosanna for what? Jesus stands for Rosanna. Does Rosanna need anybody else to stand up for? Me, I don't need anybody to stand up for me. Jesus stands up for me. I don't need no man to speak for me. Jesus speaks for me. I just come for the truth. And the truth set us free because we are all human beings. When I cut you, you have red blood. When you cut me, I've got red blood. What I want to say is stop bringing confusion to the body of Christ. Even when somebody is misbehaving, when you see an evil comment where a man and a woman of God is, especially if you have tested the spirit, I'll say this, if you have tested the spirit and you see the fruit that they are really of the true living God and God has told you, I am in this person because God tells us, if you come to this page and God has not told you that I'm in Rachel, don't come here, you're on the wrong page. I know that everybody that has come to me, is because God has told them, even at the worst time then, when I was not even composed, is when he told them that he was there. And when you come here, God will let you know. Just like when you go to any other page. Mama Joy is here. Mama, good evening. Oh, I love you, my darling. Hi, my queen. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, mama. Mama, mama, re mama. Wait, let me greet mama. Mama, mama, re mama. Mama Joy, I thank the God of Abraham for your life. Oh, I bless you, mama. I love you too much. Apostle, give kiss to your grandmother. They be sleeping. Mm. Mama, my back is breaking. I would have come close. You understand what I mean? My brothers and sisters, I want to tell you the truth. We are all serving the same God. There is only one God. When you go to a page, you find men of God being ridiculed and you have tested the spirit. Please, don't be in the comments responding to the insults that those people are writing. Because that's you giving your time to the devil. That time not going to God. Mama Joy, am I, am I wrong? That time is going to God. Just like Brother Ulu Eze. Brother, we have already, I've already forgiven you. I just want to teach the wisdom for other people. And the Lord allowed that comment to come so that we could learn something from here. For me, I don't mind though. The comment already passed. I just want us to learn here. You are allowing the devil to use you. If I go to Mama Joy's page, I find somebody insulting Mama Joy. Me commenting on that person's comment actually makes me promote that person to come and insult Mama Joy more because they get attention. They have somebody responding to them. The devil says, this is what I want. Hmm? 
He says, this is what I want. You understand? That's what the devil wants. But if you are a sister keeper, why not go to the inbox of that person and go and talk to them? Say, my sister, sometimes it takes the words. Read the words to somebody. Tell them, sister, you wrote a comment on the woman or man of God's post. You wrote fake Christians this and that. Me, I've tested that man or woman of God's spirit, and the Lord has told me he's in there. Even if you don't agree with them, do you have to bring confusion at their table? Because God does not move with confusion. No matter even the rebuke, God's rebuke is always with love to correct you. It never comes with confusion. Why don't you ask them, sister, that person saves God then. We might not agree and like everything they do. But why do we have to bring problems for them on that page? You writing one comment is the open gate from, he from hell down there, from the pit of Satan, which brings other people. And people focus on that negative same thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? The negative that will be written on Mama Joy is exactly what everybody will focus on. And how did Jesus win a soul there? Hmm? Hmm? To tell you the truth, we have to reach a point where we have to be part of the difference. Be the light. Why are you the light if you have no power and authority? This is happening here on Facebook. And sometimes I wish I could just make my sisters understand. Look, the devil is winning. Always attacking the people of God. And then what is so, God is so angry because those people are just people like you. So they, they carry the word of God and then they carry it with so much stress. Hmm? So much stress. Hmm? Instead of them being prepared to do the word of God, they come there with so much intenseness. It's wrong. It's wrong. That's why me, I asked God. I said, God, how can you send me to go and deliver a message? And then when I stand there to deliver a message, I have a crowd that is backing, backing by it. God gave me a scripture in Ezekiel 33. He says that if I do not tell you people, your blood will be upon my head. And then he went to tell me in Isaiah that if you people attack me, it's not of God. It's not of God when you attack me. Because you, if you are of God and I'm of God, we shall not agree on everything. But the peace of God and the agreement and covenant of Jesus will be what is going to be holding you and me as a people. But if you are always attacking me, you see me preach the word of God. You do not want to see the word of God. The first thing you see is the PayPal link. The devil is a liar. You see how he's so jealous. He's even so jealousy for people to do what is right to feed other people. And then the devil use you to go and write rubbish on people's links. Ah, thieves, pastors. You know the pastors who are stealing money here on Facebook. You know them. They've got private jets. They've got expensive lifestyle. What lifestyle do I have? What have I changed? Not even wig. Have you seen me with wig? Because if I want to finish myself, you know, mama, apostles, they finish, finish themselves. I could have finished myself as an apostle. You know, I'm the mumu apostle that's always wearing jogging pants and they switch it. You can see, or are you people seeing another screen that I'm presenting myself like a slay queen? Am I coming out? Let me ask you people, am I coming out like a slay queen out there or I'm just coming out in normal clothes? That's the confusion I'm talking about. And if you don't have knowledge, people will say, ah, but that's not confusion. That's just advising you and telling you. It's, God does not just advise you. God tells you what is definite. That's why when I tell people, I say, I ask them. I said, when you came to tell me to stop putting that link there, did God send you to come and tell me? Because if you say, yes, God sent you, I never underestimate or doubt any man of God. I go in the private room, I fast, and I say, Father, King of glory, Lord Almighty. If you have spoken to somebody, 
that of things that I need to do. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, hey, I beg you, please help me. Holy Spirit, speak to me directly. And if it is your will and your purpose that you want me to do this, I will do it. Like when I used to do GoFund. Hmm? God told me, period. He said, Ada, I don't want you to do this anymore. Stop doing GoFund. I've never looked back. I've never looked back. I've never looked back. And one thing that I find very spiteful to people, and that's why God reminded me. He said, you know, when somebody comes to your page, you minister as a whole person. I use you as a whole person. Your character, your sense of humor, your, your ghetto ways, because I'm village and ghetto, you know, there's no English. There's no English born in me. Even if you take fork and knife here, we'll spend two hours looking for which one is left and which one is right. There's no English born in me. If God thought that, I, if people thought that, oh, because she's with a white man and white, let me tell you, the God of Abraham has blessed all of us different. But me, he blessed me with a white man, and I'm the most ghetto village mumu you will ever know. And a lot of people will say, why you say that about yourself? Is the truth? Is the truth? My brothers and sisters. It's time for us to start working for God. And working for God and doing for God is not what benefits us. It's what benefits God. If you find a person exploiting God's name, making money on Facebook here, no problem. Go ahead. By the grace and the power that God has given you, you have the power to do so. But I know that when God calls people for ministry, he tells us, he tells us exactly, hmm? he get, he tells us exactly, this is how I will sustain you. He doesn't even tell us, he shows us to the root. This is how I will sustain you. There was a moment that I thought for six months I wanted to quit this. I wanted to go and focus on an album in the studio so I can produce music and make money and feed the need. The Lord told me, where is that? That's the world. The world plans everything. The Lord says, I called you, come. Come. I have everything for you. I just follow in a line. So please, in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit, my message tonight is please, in Jesus' name, mind your language, mind your comments, and have order. If you do not like where somebody is talking about Jesus, especially you feel like you don't agree with it, pray about it because God will answer you. And any man, any man that uses the name of God in vanity, in vain, and in mockery, even the earth cannot contain them. You might think you can get away with it. But my Bible tells me that nobody hides from God. There is no secret zone. He will catch up with you. If he don't catch up with you today, he will catch up with your children and your children. That's why I cannot be a thief. I've got three sons. And remember, sons are the ones who bear children out. The sperm is in a man. I have three sons. If he decides to bless all of them, four, four, five children, 15 to 20 to, 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 to 8 uh, grandchildren who are going to be in cast blood because I decided to be a thief. No. That's why I tell people, if you are going to save God, don't go. Don't go. Don't go to the presence of God if God has not called you. I said it even two days ago. Me, I've never been a preacher. I've never been a pastor. I don't even know how to study the Bible like some of you. The Holy Spirit gives me the message and the Bible verse direct then and there i've even taught god teach me like the people of the world the lord taught me i don't need a mentor i've even fought the way people tell me i should do how i can make money how i should use my talent why don't i make music to make money people feel like they know better for me i've noticed and the underestimation that the devil has brought to me because of the humor and the the fact that i'm down to earth people don't like people who are down to earth you like reverend natasha you like uh, these pastors who are expensive. What are their names? 
these ones that will not greet you where you need private bodyguard to enter their area. You don't like people like me who will give you phone number and you can reach out to me. You take advantage. And let me tell you, some of you are very spiteful. You have found a comfort in bringing confusion to the body of Christ. Enemy of progress is who you are. The devil use you. The devil use you to come to my page. You enemy of progress. To come and disappoint, to come and bring disappointment here. But the God of Abraham told me that I should tell you, Satan, you cannot finish what you have not started. You do not know where I come from and how the Lord called me. He that has started these works in me shall finish it to perfect perfection. Hmm? Sister Suzani Wanjiru, don't embarrass your country here. Sister Suzani Wanjiru, don't imbalance Kenya here in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not talking about white man. You are so inappropriate, Sister Susan. And you have to, I've warned you and blocked you on this page, not once. Susan Iwanjiru, you know that I know you. Susan, I need you to know that if you, are, you don't have a friend or there's something wrong, koro koro in your head, you need to look for a friend to play with. It's not me. I am not your friend in Jesus' name. And I do not make friends with disgusting demons like this. I have warned you about coming to ask for white men and rubbish. Don't make the women of your country look cheap. There are a lot of people from other countries here. They are reading the comment. Don't be a fool. You forget that Africa, we are judgmental people. Don't be too comfortable to bring your shame outside. Don't be comfortable to bring the sins and the iniquity outside. The whole entire time you have been in this chat, all this wisdom miss you. If you want to do a shower business, this page do not produce white men or prostitution. I am here to save God. You hear me? You better stop it right now. If you are looking for white man and where you can get white man, go to hell, sister. The devil has got a white man for you there. Go to Satan. Not here. Shame. This is why you have no boundary. And this is why I will always teach. And let me even give you wisdom. What kind of women are we if we are going to be going out here? Me, if there's one woman that pisses me off, I am married to a different race. But let me tell you, it's when people remind me that I'm married to a white man. But one thing that I can say is when, if there's a thing that the African woman can do is coming here online, asking about how you can get a white man. Pooh! Satana, you are a liar. Satana, you are nasty. Devil, you are a very filthy demon. That's why the Lord chalk you out from heaven. He did throw you out like Gazim. You disgrace us. You disgrace us. Marriage was never meant for race. And the fact that you can come out here online with your last name. And the funny thing is that your last name is a very common last name, Wanjiku, on Facebook here. You never feel sorry for the other Wanjiku people. You share the same last name. But I beg you, no, I have no disrespect. You just buaka buaka. We are women of God. Let me teach you something. A woman of God cannot be asking where she can get a white, a white man. That's a prostitute demon. That's Jezebel Mahule. This is why a lot of women, I said it, a lot of them in the church who are standing. Please, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's why you're seeing them like, like, because they are so horny because the spirit in them is just hurrah right business. You want a white man. And let me tell you, the God of Abraham, the way you talk, mm? God loves all races, not black and white. And because you, you chose to come with your big mouth, you will never touch a white man. The only white man you touch, they will be scuppered on. That's why you said the one you met is in a club, right? You are a desperate black woman, you. Sister Susan, you are wrong with you. You are wrong. Here, baby, take it. I want it's a shame. It's a shame. 
It's a shame, sister. You, you are, let me tell you, it's a shame that you even come out here. You think a white man is all you can have. This is why I don't have white men's friends, uh, wives as friends. A white man is a man just like anybody else. And the God that I save, the same thing when Christian comes, to, they come to me, at Jesus was black before he was white. I've heard that theory. I don't give a damn. I don't come for Jesus because he's black and white. I love Jesus because he's faithful and good. Let me tell you, if that same Jesus was caring about color, don't you know that the same Jesus, the same God of Abraham, is the one who made those children that I have with Papa Rokafeda. They are half white, half black. And he planned them before I was born. He knew that they would be born from a black and a white woman, whether this world likes discrimination or not. And a lot of you like to say you want a white man is the only type you will marry. <laughs> Mumu, look, this one I have for you. This is the one Jesus will give you. Jesus don't give people as if na commander. God give you what he wants. I didn't marry a white man because I wanted to marry a white man. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus give me man. Because my children only came to existence because the God of Abraham knew them before they were born. He knew their name. But a lot of you out here, you're thinking marriage and white children, mixed race children is a fashion and a style. Take this. You are a, you are who to you? Ignorance. Fool. Pig. Pig. Piggy, 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 piggy. A shame on you. Take it from a woman of God. You are a mumu piggy, 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 piggy. Mm. It's all you could do. White man, white man. Ha! I'm with a white man. It's not the best thing I've ever done in my life. Go for it. Mumu. 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 You sisters, even if you marry a white man, you probably will not go to sleep. You would wake up every 30 minutes to check if your oibo was there. Mzungu wangu, ah, ah, habari mzungu wangu, sasa mzungu wangu, mutoto mzungu wangu, mwenga. Because that's how desperate you are. You come to my page always. She's always coming to my page. I want all of you people to tell her that that spirit of the, is of the devil and she should repent. She comes to my page. I have blocked her sometimes, months after time. I have had a personal message in her inbox to tell her, Sister Susan Wanjiku, I know her name very well. Go to some of my old videos, you'll find me. She's always asking about white men. I don't know which God she saves. Because her God has told that she will marry a white man. You will marry a white moon, a white eclipse of the moon. His compass is going to be going. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and I like white. <laughs> You'll be ticking. Tickety, tickety, tickety. Jesus don't choose what you people want. He give you what he wants. What he has prepared. You can pray to the Lord and ask him for colored children. If Jesus has prepared a black man for you, now black man you go marry. Sister, you better start taking... Let your people take bright price. Don't be fools. That's why a lot of you, you are waiting for marriage. You are waiting for a white man because that's the only man that Jesus blessed marriage. <laughs> My mama and my papa are black. So I am, I'm telling you, I am 100% million pro-black and black marriage. And then I'm also pro-100 million percent white on white marriage. And then I'm also pro-100 billion percent black and white marriage. And then I'm also pro Chinese, Muslim, black, white marriage, as long as the love is there hidden. <laughs> Open your mouth and kiss your partner. Mm. The devil is a liar. That's why he's a fool. Mm. The God of Abraham, I say, he will never, ever, never, ever be angry with me that I'm, the God that some people are saving. I think their God is a big racist though. Papa, let me ask the Holy Spirit directly, then I'll tell you people the answer. Lord, I just have this question, my father, it's not your call. Father, if people are always trying to degrade as if you are the god of whites when they are black themselves, is it not Mumu that a black woman want to marry a white man so much, but her herself she black? It be Mumu Papa. Eh? Mm -hmm. I heard the Holy Spirit say, it be don't come, condom manners. <laughs> oh, and sisters with black men, it don't matter who. If he's a man that the Lord has blessed you, oh yeah, I beg you, you better come. Hold him. Hold him tight. Hold him. Hold him tight. Go 
all of you with black men, please, I want you to slap the head tonight. Just tell him, hello. <laughs> you know that if you slap him, there's no no wound which will show. I can't do that to Papa Rokafela. If I want to do foreplay for slapping, tomorrow Papa Rokafela might come out and people might think I was beating Papa Rokafela the whole night. So you have a strong melanin, iron man, direct, blessing from the Lord. The same God of Abraham, he make black. The same God of Abraham, he make white. The same God of Abraham, he make Chinese. <laughs> He they put the master of idiotic Satan to shame. That's why people who say they don't accept their in-laws because of race, color, and culture. You are a mumu, take this one on behalf of the kingdom of heaven. Back up. In Jesus' name. I'm sorry, yo. Let's just learn wisdom here. You should be ashamed and I want you sisters not to leave your sister. I want you to go in the inbox. Don't, don't comment on that comment. Don't disgrace her here in public. Go to her inbox. Go and tell sister uh, Susan Wanjiko. Tell her that Facebook, when one says that Sister Susan Wanjiku is a thief, Facebook is a wicked accessory and territory. It's a slander and backbiter of all. It leaves a reputation. You do not know that on Facebook here, there are even countries that have been blocked by the Facebook software because of message. Huh? Because of behavior. They are monitored like monitoring spirit. And it affects other people who are innocent. Here on Facebook, you mind what you write. Sister Susan, my sister, I love you and God loves you. But you need to stop behaving like you have a Jezebel prostitute spirit. You need to go for deliverance. And if you already have a white man, do you need to? You want monogamy or polygamy? Which one is polygamy? Sharon, write it in English. Polygamy or monogamy? Which one? You are a woman. People see your profile. I can click on that photo, Sister, Suz uh, Sister Susan Wanjiru. I can click on there. And then when I see that comment, I wouldn't want you involved with any of my brothers. Because what you do here on Facebook is low and cheap. And if you really want a white man and you want God to bless you with any man, you have to go to the father. He's the one who has that for you. But this behavior on Facebook here, I want you to remember that that last name, you are using it. Hmm? In Jesus' name. For God's sake. And it's not even about a white man. You people are my black sisters. Don't make the black man look like they're invalid. These days when you hear people, they come direct to me and I answer you like a rat because the guts of the devil that you, they come to me, especially in the inbox, to come and ask me, woman of God, how you find the right man? I also want to find one. You are an idiot. You will never find one. The Lord will not let you find the white man because if you, you would have found the white man, your whole village people will suffer. <laughs> you know your filthy character. That's why Jesus, how many white men have passed you? Mm. 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 Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. You need to change my sister. Me, I don't pray for people like that. Mm -mm. I don't pray for people like that. I don't pray for people like that. Don't be, don't be disgraceful like that. Especially when your grandparents Acting like 17 year old girls, what is so, me? I'm a woman of the Lord who check the rubbish. You will me, you see me talk for the Lord here in the spirit. Come anyhow, anywhere, and you want to talk on me, you think I will do it. Hey, I talk in the spirit, and when I'm in the presence of the Lord, there's time for everything, Sister Susie. You need to mind your comments, you need to mind the way you write your comments here. And your last name is very is big on Facebook here. For God's sake, please, my sister. No. Mm -mm. What's wrong with that? You think it's cute to ask people where you get white men? Sister Susan, are you really asking me this rubbish? Or you want me to block you for another seven months like we did last year? Because we can do it right now. I don't have time for rubbish. I'm trying to give you wisdom as a grown woman. You are too old. Stop your rubbish. Who are you playing this stubborn, innocent game with? So the white man you have in the house is not enough, my sister. Go and call your white man to come and see the comments you're writing on my page. Yeah? Because me, I have a white man. 
I know that they don't like this kind of balafooning, asking for money online from strangers and writing sexy provoking messages. They don't need it. They don't need it. Stop being stubborn. There's nothing cute. You are a mother. You, you have a family. Somebody looks up to you. And Facebook looks like it's big. That's why some of you, the sins you have left here on Facebook, the day that people are bringing bright price for your in-laws, it be the day people turn around. That bully, that cheap thing on Facebook is the one they're bringing money to. People would have already seen you online. Remember, eh? Some people thought they were so secret. What I am seeing on Facebook here, eh? husbands cheated. And I see their videos being put there. Their wives see it. Whatever is put on Facebook here, eh? the whole world see it. The whole world see it. I don't know what, I, I don't understand though. My brothers and sisters, everything you write in here, the Lord and the world sees. But this world is very evil and very judgmental. I'm telling you the truth. You better know, if you do not want to be just Sister Susan like a cheap prostitute, but you're a married woman, mind the comments you write, my sister. A married woman does not ask about men. If God has blessed you with a, a white man, my sister, why don't you sit down and thank the God of Abraham? And if you are with a white man, you want everybody to know. Sister Susie, there are some black women, my brothers and sisters are black and they are married to fellow white uh, black men. Marriage is love. I come from two black people. Or maybe you think I was raised by one half white person. Do I look colorish to you people there? No, right? You are out of order and place. If you have the spirit of God within you, then you know that our father is a spiritual father and not a racy father. That's why our father, we have Chinese men who can break it down in tongues and worship the true living God. We have white brothers that can break it down and pray in tongues and worship the same true living God. We've got black brothers who can break down in tongues and pray and worship in the same, the same true living God the same way. Muslim guys, everything in the name of Jesus Christ. And sister blessings is Shangalo. Shangalao. You said cool down, sister, please forgive her. I am teaching. In case your ear was not listening, sister blessing. You might think I'm talking to sister Susan alone. But you are not the only one, my sister here. And if I didn't forgive her, I was not going to teach. Stop being full of yourselves and feel like you have to comment all the time. What are you sending funeral crying emoji for on that comment? Look at your sentence. Calm down where? This is love. Correct your sister. That's why your sisters are posting anything on Facebook. But you will go and gossip about Sister Susan, my sister, bless him. You are a woman of God sending your rubbish heavy comments. You better carry that comment before I remove it. Too. Carry that more comment, sister blessing Shangaro, before I block you. I don't like people who like to show off and full of yourself. If you do that, I will also disgrace you. I will drop you hot. It's a choice. That's why women are killing each other. You are looking for the message, all oh, this wisdom that is coming out in the past you. <laughs> you are a Shangalala. And I'm sorry, I have nothing for you because this is a message. Eh? This is the message of the Lord. This is why I say, if you have God in you, it starts with everything that comes out of your mind from the back to come to the front. Before it can locate the soul and the heart, where the mouth goes, start producing it. It's the whole package, my brothers and sisters. And if we were learning about stop being a confusion to the body of Christ, where would you put Sister Susan in this moment? Isn't the Holy Spirit displaying itself very well? Sister Susan came in, in church, found the, the pastor preaching, and then she asked the pastor, where can I find a, 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 a white man? Do you understand what I was talking about? That God is still manifesting himself to show you people. In case you are like Sister Susan, you, you are one who is a confuser. 
and I want you to know that confusers of the works of the Lord shall also get flogged by the Lord. Because the Lord calls you enemies of, of progress. It's a choice. And that's why when you go to a club, you know at the club they open the beer for you, you start drinking. When the music plays, you start to dance. And when you get drunk, you smoke, you do everything. At church, we take our Bibles, our pen, our book and paper where we write from. And we are ready to listen for the word of God. Because the word of God is never written. It is given direct by the Holy Spirit. But because you know, you do not even know about the directness of Holy Spirit message. We are so used to pastors when they come in front of us all today on assembly. We are going to talk about this. I would just like a, excuse me. When Jesus walked on the earth, he didn't even have the Bible in his hand. And he's still equipping people like that. Because all of these apostles didn't have it in their hands. So to all of you, my sisters, you can either be a blessing to the body of Christ or not. And one thing you have to know that when we go to church, there are a lot of people who are being ministered to. The message can be ministered financially to you. It can be spiritually. It can be emotionally for the other person. But to be confusive and dis disruptive, this is what happens when we are praying. There's even a time limit. Are we going to praise for 10 minutes? 10 minutes praise. And somebody is in the spirit, but the other people say, stop the music, stop it now, we have to pray. We actually stop the Holy Spirit from doing his work because we are so full of ourselves. Actually. We are so fast. Me, I don't want to hear this. I see comments and people, oh, I wish you could just go back to the time where you used to sing and not talk at all. Yes, the devil would be very happy. Would be very happy. Look at the wisdom Jesus has put in my mouth to share to my sister. This will help you more than the praise and worship. The praise and worship is not for you, it's for the Father actually. Nobody can enjoy my praise apart from the King of Glory because it is Him who understands where they come from. You understand? But this word is for all of us to benefit. We are moving with confusion. Look at it display itself here. If God is not faithful, what is here that we have learned today? Here, write what you have learned here today. There is a time for everything. And if you need to speak to people, do it at appropriate times. Don't bring confusion. Don't bring confusion. I know that if I go to Marcus Rogers and Marcus is preaching, and I'm off, I, it's to throw him off. Enemy of progress. They, they want to stop the progress. Always. They see Jesus coming. Peter walk on water. That enemy of progress said to tell Peter, Peter, it will go wrong. Jesus said, I'm not like that. Even the enemy of progress, are they shutting down? We are Christians, but biting the same name of our Father. We are born again, not even Christian. We are born again believers, children of the most great time. But we are the same people who are bringing mess and confusion to the body of Christ. We attack and pick on what we want. And what flabbergasts me is that people do not even walk in the realm of the Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit what to do. People feel like whatever they need to do, they can do it. That's why people have the right to write comments. Where can I find a white man? Sister, why is your hair short? Sister, why do you talk like this? Sister, why your accent is like that? And that person who is asking me that question, they expect me to see the fruit of God in them. And they expect me, who is in front of them by the Lord, sent me to preach the word. Yet they will not even respect me as the servant of God. They will speak above me. And which fear do they have for God? Which God? Because if people have been waiting for God to come on the earth, I'm sorry, a lot of people will come and go. Jesus works through man. I don't know why when people say the Holy Spirit is with God always, every time it's here, yeah, Holy Spirit can't be in man. But when it comes to what it benefits them, all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit works through man. The Holy Spirit has already always walked through, worked through man. He don't work through, if you want, he brought Jesus for us, he made covenant that we shall stand up forever. Generation to generation, everlasting covenant. But use him. That's why there's Abraham, there's Moses, there's Vita. There's all of these people in the Bible who made it because Jesus used man. I don't know why people like to choose which which one work for them? If the Holy Spirit is working in you, you should be able to recognize who are, who are your father's children. Because your father, me, the Lord tells me, 
That's why I can be able boldly to come out here and say, the Lord has shown me himself in Marcus Rogers. I might not agree on everything that Marcus will post or put out here, but I know one thing Jesus has told me is in there, and that never changes. And I do not allow my personal interest to go and start attacking Marcus Rogers the, the way I feel. Because it's personal interest that goes, why are you asking for money on Facebook? Why are you doing this? Those are personal interests. That's the spiteful demon of the devil. And that's why I got you, Satan, with wisdom in the name of Jesus. I would never do that to Marcus. Marcus runs a ministry. God works through a man. The same man, Marcus, does not have a job that he can do Monday to Sunday. His job is for God. The same God brings people to help Marcus Rogers so Marcus Rogers can continue doing his work. Why you want to do like sister that is not being used by God when some of you have had breakthrough because of this thing? You better behave yourself before my father starts flogging some people. Stop this, your confusion. I'm not begging. I'm sending a warning. Don't try me. You never called me. You never called me. I want people to know their place when they come here. Shut up. And I mean it with my soul. Because you do not know how much it takes to save God. Especially when you feel like you are not good enough. So, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I beg you, when you go out here, and you know one thing I will say? The people who have the power to tell people who carry ministry are the people who do nothing for the kingdom of God. Trash talkers. Trash talkers. When they see somebody doing something for the Lord because they are so spiteful and because they always do something out of their minds. And they only do things selfishly to benefit them. So they are thinking that, she, uh, that Jesus does not deserve anything. She's making a lot of money on Facebook. Hmm. This is what we talked about with Sharon. I've had this jealousy. Some people feel like we do not deserve to be where we are. When it is the, the God of Abraham who they put where people where he wants to put them. Keep feeling like I'm not qualified and I'm not meant for this. That's your. Keep questioning me and whatever you want. But as for me and my home, I know who called me. And I'm not going to allow nobody to intimidate me. If I talk soft, she, she sounds like she's smoking and drunk. If I speak high, and she's bipolar and mad, mentally distant. If I rebuke you, and she insults, that's the only thing she does. Today, I'm telling you in a soft way. And I'm sorry, my face never lie. Because some of us, we move, we saw. And I know no Botox. So everything, they still move. The blood, is they still run. All the way from the uh, hair of Aaron to the beard, running down to the color of. The blood of Jesus still be running on this face. That's why I can move it. Eh? If they move, praise the Lord. Praise. Praise the Lord. He pray. So when the Lord is giving me sign, I don't go left. I don't know the Lord say left. I don't turn right there. At the ten right, the Lord give me sign. My face they move <laughs> for joke. Anyway, laugh. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I'm just telling you, it is the way it is. I'm telling you in a soft way, because I've seen a lot of you people. You will not allow new people who are coming to God to save God in peace. You will always come to torment us. If you really had God in you, you wouldn't be tormenting people. Because for me, I cannot torment people. I cannot go to somebody's page. I know that when I write a comment at a page with the influence and the name that I carry, it can either bring bad luck or good luck for somebody. It can bring them noise or, or something bad. You people feel like God will never bless you. Sister Sydney, you are right. Some people feel like God will never bless them because of me being here but the reason why god will never bless you just like that man from kenya who told me you are a thief stop collecting money i went to the lord i said father you know i don't steal money i've been doing this for two years since my trauma what i went through for work i've not had a job the one who works is my man and that i said god of abraham you know how much this man taking his money every week helping me for this minute not even one day my husband will complain then I know it's the devil. And you only do that 
because you want to ruin the progress enemy of progress just like when you take my videos and you keep making mockery just like what people are doing to mama og whether you don't agree everything she's doing that woman mama og but she says a lot of messages which are raw and undiluted and a lot of truth is in there you can't agree on everything but there is the truth in there and i've heard it i can confirm but one thing that i find is that the devil is using people to tarnish that woman to make Mokari. Hmm? And when you people are parading mama, that woman's video, who wants to, to work with a pastor who is looked as a joke? Who wants to, to, to do the work of God with a pastor who is looked like a joke? A pastor, a, a servant of God shall never be an, a comedian no matter how funny they are. They shall never be ranged in the same range of, a, a, of comedians. Enemies of progress. That woman could go around the world and preach the message to young people, but people are blocking her ministry. Isn't it? But you people will not go out there to do the work of God. She's not perfect, just like I'm not perfect, but we accept to do the work of God and we allow the Holy Spirit to use us. But some of you are so wicked. You will not do the work of God. But you will also not allow your other friends, brothers and sisters in Christ to do the work of the Lord. You will just be enemy of progress. It's like if you will not have it, nobody else will have it. How? How? Hmm? Hmm? And I tell, just like I tell Sharon, my ministry, if somebody comes to my ministry and tells me they are trashing somebody online, ask Sharon, she's in the chat in here. Me, I, I make you go back to go and apologize to the people you bully here online. It will not work in the ministry of God that I run. Never. You cannot love God with the left hand and the right hand. You are slapping Jesus. For what? How? The fellow same body of Christ. It's you people sharing videos actually the ones who are speaking the truth for god they are made mockery and fun of the fake prophets and papas and the fake prophets they get so much attention from you people the respect that they don't deserve you see how people they, that's why the bible said my people perish because of lack of knowledge a lot of people don't have discernment and they don't even have the holy spirit in them they can't even tell which one is of god or not as long as they they hear when they hear that a man of god The one who knows how to prophesy, to sneak on prophecy, is not just a prophecy people alone of God. The devil, that's why he can use mediums. That's why you can go to a nyanga, a babalao, and a babalao can tell you, I see your future. Because the devil is a monetary spirit to make you feel good. That's why a lot of people are on team devil, they think they are with God. That's why when they come here, they're fighting with me. Why are you fighting with me? You've been serving God all this while. Now me, you baby Christian. Go have more knowledge than you be serving Jesus with all your degree and your diplomas. Mm. Mm. I see the fake papas here. The ones that can prophesy to 3,000 people on life. Mashekerekete. Mashokorotoko. Mashakarakatake. Mashukurukotoko. Shekere. 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 Baby, join me. Shabadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad
And I know I'm not perfect. I do not do everything perfect. One thing I know is that the presence of God is always here. And I know that God is always using my tongue, my lips to speak wisdom. Because when I hear myself, it's not me who is speaking. It's he that lives in me. So who is the enemy of progress? It's very sad, my brothers and sisters, that the same people we are supposed to be thanking the same God with are the people who are finishing us and draining us. You can't be a child of God, blowing Jesus one side, slapping him the other side. It's a lie. You can't save two masters. You can only go with one. So this is an encouragement. You have to ask your ways. In this journey, as we are walking in this season, ask your ways. Ask yourself, are my ways showing of God or not? Just like me, one of my sisters, Joanne here. Joanne is very giving. She likes to, to help ministries. And me, in this ministry I have, I have ministries inside it that God has brought women in my life. Like, Sister Mwon. So if Joanne and Sharon give me money and say, Sister Ada, I want to bless Mwone, but because Mwone is young, how can I give you the money to bless Mwone? Me, I take the money. I give Mwone the exact amount of money that the sisters gave me. The moment I start feeling like it's wrong for the grown women to bless a young child with money for a ministry, who am I? That's disqualifying her ministry as if it's not a ministry. Muwone runs a ministry and God has told me until she's 18 years old. Ada, you don't have to do anything. I'm the Lord God Almighty. I'll do everything. But let your love and your eye be on your young sister. And I keep my promise to the Lord after now. And you know how God is faithful? He also brings women from across the world that join this ministry that also are taught by the same God to bless that little girl because God is pleased with her. And when we give her the money, we know that it doesn't go to her because she's young and she's at school trying to help other children to get food. How many of you grown people have ever not have decided to be of loving and a blessing to people's lives than this confusion business you are playing all the time? Mohan is 16 years old. And you know what the Lord told me? He told me, Ada, I will not lift you once. I'll be bringing people to you in your life. When you give them hospitality, it's how I favored all the great men in the Bible. When Abram, the three wise men came, Abram turned love and humbleness. He was never ashamed to do work for me that did not benefit him. Me doing this does not benefit my music career. I do this as an apostle of the Lord. So my music career is at the last end. The first is in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is the jealousy I talk about. You see that link. It says, let us feed the need. Somebody go put laughing emoji. Why? Enemy of progress. Jealousy and wickedness be harboring in a lot of us. That's why you are asking the God of Abraham. Now you people make the God of Abraham choose a fool like me. He could trust a fool like me better than he can trust you. Let me call your name. He can trust me better than he can trust you. And let me tell you, you can call me all of this and that you are mad. But me, the Lord knows it. I humble myself. And that's why I keep receiving people. I receive with hospitality. And I know one thing. The Bible says, they don't throw stones at an empty tree. The Lord knows that this, made this fountain fruitful tree. Jesus knows Adam is a hospitality. He be sending them. If today he wants to make me answer phone calls to encourage sisters, I'm encouraging, I'm laughing. I'm praising the Lord. I'm making jokes to... To empower my sister. Because that's what we do. But enemy of progress. They never feel like anything is good enough for somebody. That's why they can't hear the word of God. Why are you asking for money? Because you are in Africa there. You cannot even feel sorry for your sister's African children. Me who is a prodigy, I feel more, more compassion for the young children who are hungry. How can God use you? God go use you, you go collect all the money. 
God go use you, you go just make mockery of people online here. God can't use you. You have got too much shame. Remember, you can't be seen begging money on Facebook. I will beg. If it looks like begging, I will beg every day. Because you know, at the end of that beg, a Zambian, Kenyan, South African, Zimbabwe, even Morocco, Morocco, they, they get bread and food. And for me, when you see me twerk extra there, it means the God of Abraham has fed so many children. Preparing for school packs like right now. I'm getting ready. I've been starting since January. I'm just putting aside I want to make sure that children have got bags and books for schools. You know the God of Abraham is so happy Let me tell you I work for the father. I learned my duties. I learned my duties I'm a service to the father who rewards me greatly. Keep quiet. You do not know what you're talking about Jealousy will kill you. He will knock you out. He will knock you out always it will not. And let me tell you, the reason why they focus on money, Sister Victoria, is because they are greedy. A lot of people who comment negative on my link there, when God tells you to give, you can respond, okay, Father, I will do what you say. Most of us Christians, when God tells us to give, we look at the person in front of us and then we are like, me, I take the money to give this person. The same thing if somebody gives me money to give Mwone and then I look at Mwone and then think, you know what? Uh, she's young. She's 16 years old. She doesn't deserve this man. Who am I? Didn't the God of Abraham put ministry in that 16-year-old woman? The God of Abraham does not, is not a respecter of man. He's a faithful God. Stop being enemies and... Stop writing evil comments on my page here. The devil is using you to degrade me, to make me look like I'm not doing nothing for the kingdom of heaven. But you're just delaying my father's work. And the delayment has nothing to do with you. It brings other people who need to eat. If you have no blessing, leave. Because if I wanted to make money, this talent I have on my own is worth millions. I am not talking about talent. I'm talking about saving the Lord. And I will not go and steal. That's why you are making people. The reason why people are accepting to advertise on pages is because the people who are supposed to be brother and sister keepers in the body and the kingdom of Christ have failed because they are jealous. Most of them, when they tell them, go and give. Can you ever give if the Lord tells you, go and give somebody 2,000 euros? No, some of us, we go give half. We negotiate and compromise with God. Keep compromising, but don't come to the people who are serving God to degrade them. And me, I will stand up for, for this because I know what I do for God. No man can ever come and speak rubbish. I've had enough of people coming to degrade an enemy of progress to finish it. Because a lot of you who worry about money, you have never blessed me, not even with one combo. So why are you worry now? Now your money ever enter my account or feed any child in Africa? No, but you are big mouth to open it. Eh? May the Lord have mercy on you. You just wanted to show off. May the Lord have mercy on you. You thought you were being so, so sweet and cute to allow the devil to come and use you. Oh, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, help yourself. Sister, eh, Fanish Mwanawawa, let me, let me just tell you, my sister, wait. This is what we are talking about. Another enemy of progress. Sister Fishani Mwana Wanyongo. I don't even know what your surname means. But Sister Rachel, speak your accent, not like a Nigerian. This is my accent. This is my accent. You don't even have shame. The demon inside your kakari, your stinking, filthy soul came to tell you to write this. You are evil, my sister. You are a witch. These are the enemy of progress I'm talking about. You came on the right day because the people, the Holy Spirit has the attention of the people. So they will flog you. Look at the first comment. They come for you. You should be ashamed. And I could speak prophetically on your life. You, you, are, very, you, are, very, you are very lack. Because I almost went spiritually to speak on your life. You, this comment is a deflect. You don't want me to speak what is going on in your life. Sister Fishani Mwana Nyongo, whatever it is. You want me to speak over your life here? Eh? Sister Fishan, you better apologize. I'm giving you one minute. You don't want me to disgrace you using Karan and Son. Which accent? You can only tell somebody to speak their accent if you know them. Do you know me? From where? I've never met you. How do I know you? 
You should be ashamed. Tell the put the devil, resist the devil. Look at your foolish life. Looking like a Jezebel spirit coming from the brothel pit, horny ash of your father, Satan. You don't look cute. And I don't rebuke sweet because you know when you took the time to write that comment, did you ask your, your slow brain? Your damn cockroach brain. Yes, let me give you the rebuke you deserve. You are a woman like me. You carry too much. Did you ask your brain? Because if you had a brain, how slow is that disc useless brain that it would ask such a question? Because this is not what we are talking about. And the God of Abraham did not have any problem with accent. And the God of Abraham knows that I talk like this. And a lot of people can understand me. Can you hear the, the English people? Praise the Lord. Why did you allow the devil to use you? You are a fool. You are a fool with no wisdom. And you have just shown how stupid you are. And all of us, let's just take time to put the devil to shame where he belongs. My sister, you need to mind your own language. If I should mind my accent, mind your own language. You should be ashamed, sister Fishane. You make yourself look cheap for no reason. Your kakari brain is very slow. Slower than Totoi. Slower than your father Nyash, Satan. I just want you to know this. And don't say I'm insulting. I said your father Nyash. Because your father don't have respect for him. And all the demons and airlines of your father, Satan. I don't work with them. Because you see how much they have got guts. We call them guts of painful. I'm not angry. I'm asking you. Who is angry? Now you want to flip the scripture. No cockroach, Satan. The spirit in you. Let's talk to that demon. Let's focus on that demon. You need to stop it. You found the right one. First things first, let me tell you. Let me tell you the reason why you are wrong and why the Lord will never look at people like you. Why he can never use people like you. Because the God of Abraham has got all accents. This is his world. Nigerian accents, pigeon angry accents, Modokian accents, Rokoroko accents, Perakeke accent, isn't it all for Jesus? Only a fool like you, your father sent you from his nyash, which he shitted yesterday. You go come here. That's why you look like a fool. Let me rebuke you right. Shut up. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you've got the guts to answer me, I'll give you the shame. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. That question is inappropriate. And let me tell you, if all of you were looking for enemy of progress, there is another enemy of progress. Enemy of progress. A shower of the devil. Go and kiss your father, Nyaro. That's why you are a fool. Look at you at your age. Jesus is empowering your friends with wisdom and love. You just walk around with your bitterness. You've been, been, you've been bitter since they conceived you from your mama's womb. You should have left that bitterness in your mama's womb. Don't carry your mama's sin. I am not carrying my father's sin. I'm not bitter and I'm not angry. I'm telling you truth. I'm a woman of God, but I am not a fool. You saw it, you saw the whole message this time. You see you enemies of progress. You are always waiting to see when you can, you can attack. No, you need deliverance yourself. If you are coming in the presence of the Lord in church, you are asking about accent. You actually need Jesus, you stupid demon. And look me very well. I'm a woman of God, but I'm not going to interact with a demon because these other people were making mistakes. You, I then hear the Holy Spirit tell me, you are a demon itself. You are a demon. Manifest. If you want, if you people want to see this demon manifest, let me show you. The Lord has given me a trick. With wisdom, bring Satan to the center. Ashamed of who? Wait, all of you. Don't, 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 don't answer her. Don't answer her. Don't respond to her. She has no weight. Nobody has ever given her a damn. She came to my page for the first time she's got attention. Leave this one. Her man, don't even give her attention. Don't give her attention. Listen to me. Let me show you how the devil manifests. Wait and people say that I'm crazy. Let me show you something. Do you see how this woman has gone on a row of insults? She's insulting me personally. Don't go personal with her. Stay with her spirit. This woman is, is bitter from her mama's womb. And I speak sp spiritually for some of you. This woman is bitter from her mother's womb. And one thing that I can tell you, I do not want to degrade her. This woman is going through a lot. This is a fissage. It's a trick. Her life is hard enough. I can't attack this woman anymore. From the way the Holy Spirit is telling me and how I feel. This is a woman whose life is falling apart. She's miserable. 
She's living a double standard life. She's faking it here. But the Lord also tells me to tell her direct here if people don't believe it. That's why I keep calm. And if you look at my face, things have changed. The Lord says you are rebellious and stubborn. But he's telling me to ask you, sister, what has rebelliousness and stubborn brought for you in your life? The Lord said, keep being rebellious and stubborn. Keep his, this is what the Holy Spirit says. Keep keeping a reflector and mirror and putting blames on other people. You like to blame people for everything that goes wrong in your life. Even right now, you, are, you shouldn't be on Facebook. You should be talking to God because you have a lot going on. And I can't speak your personal problems, but the Holy Spirit tells me that I should just speak direct like this to you. You are faking it, sister. You need help and God brought you here not to come and fight with me. He brought you here not to fight with me because God wants to help you. You can fight me and you have been fighting everything that comes in front of you because you, you have put yourself too high. But the Lord tells me to tell you, you are rebellious and stubborn. And your rebelliousness and stubbornness, it will not bring you anywhere Nowhere, you rebel, stubborn. You see how social media is making you like this. But me, I feel sorry for you, sister Fishy Mwana Wanyango. I can feel what you're going through. I can feel it right now. Even my mood has changed. Those who walk in the realm of the spirit, I'm not on there. And I will not even rebuke you like the way I want to go hard on you. Because you've got enough going on. You need Jesus, you. And the Lord tells me that I should ask you, with everything that is going on, my sister here, eh? with everything that is going on in your life, what do you need in your life? The same God you want to answer that prayer is the one whose daughter you came here to fight with. It don't make sense for me. How do you leave from the house to go to the hospital, but halfway through, you allow the devil to use you. You start beating the doctor when you need the doctor to give you the injection. Only a fool would do that. And my sister, Sister Fisha Mwanawanyango, I was rebuking the demon in you, and that's why I can still talk to the person in you. And I'll tell you this, my sister. See, see, think we were in the moment doing the work of God. Eh? What was that comment for? The God of Abraham, he loves the Nigerian people too. Yes. God does not see color, race, culture, accent, background. God has no problem with that. I do not know why born again, born again Christians are so prejudiced and they think it's okay. No, you need deliverance. How can I need deliverance? When I speak my own accent and my sister, Sister Fisher, the Lord says we are women, we should respect one another with order. Whose page are you on first? My page. Who speaks the way they want to speak? I speak how I want to speak. How the Lord has allowed me to speak. Hallelujah. Just like you are allowed to speak. African people never had any beautiful accents. We had our own African accent. Because it's now the yo 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 man what's up. Hey how are you? Is the new accent. But me I still keep my, my accent where they come from. Because I still have the RRL syndrome. But I also not perfect. I tell people here. Yeah, I am just true and natural. And I think if I'm doing the work of the Lord and everybody understands, because I even have white people here and white people never ask me if this is Nigerian accent. How can the so-called African people hate the next? Because what, what pisses you off if I may ask you, my sister, because you have more wisdom and you say that I lie, I speak only lies, nothing is going on in your life. Okay, let's leave that one. Let's learn something here. My sister, can I ask you something? What was that question for? You don't know me. Where have you met me for? Because this has been my accent my whole life. Maybe I say Biko Chineke because it's the Nigerian, but my whole accent, before they used to say I sound like from Uganda. 
are we what's wrong with the accent if i may ask we are women let's learn don't get frustrated me have all the time to learn from one another sissy i'm asking you my sister hmm? you said you insulted me you said i was mad i was rebuking the spirit in you you insulted me you said a whole lot of things in here that's why I changed my tone on you because you you went to degrading level. Who has no shame, my sister? If I, as a woman of God, patience is very important. Where was your patience when you wrote that comment? In fact, let's forget about patience because patience can be something you run out of. Let's all go to the most important moral value and commandment: love. Sister Mwanawan Yongo. Where was the love of God in you that you decided to come to my church right in front of my pulpit to tell me, don't speak like a Nigerian? And second question, if I should speak the way I speak, are you my father or mother? Do you know me? And how did I used to speak? Maybe you can correct me. Should I let you come in the video, my sister? So you can tell me how I speak. Should I let you come in the video? Sister Fish, should I let you come in the video? Because there's a time when people need to humble themselves and just apologize and accept. You know what? I showed my foolishness. I showed my lack of knowledge. I showed my lack of reasoning well. Does that hurt? No. Why do you have to start exchanging words with me? So answer me, where was the love of God in you, my sister? You said you're a woman of God. Yes, and I also want to ask, somebody also wants to know, Sister Millicent Bendu, for the first time, we have time, it's weekend today, I'm not worried, my children are ready for school, my husband is chilling, we have our own appointment in about 20 minutes from now for a nice movie that we want to watch a series together. But anyway, I want to also ask Sister Mwana Wanyongo, what is wrong with the Nigerian accent? If I sound like Nigerian, what is wrong with a Nigerian accent? Hmm? Hmm? I'm waiting for her to answer so that we can keep it as a conversation. So we can learn because I want her to stop being stubborn. That's what you said. Speak like before you used to speak. So I'm asking you, how did I used to speak? Come and show me. I'll let you in the video. Come and show me. Come and show me. I'm willing because you know me. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come and show me how I used to talk. Don't decline to come in. You should come in and show me how I used to talk. I don't know you. I don't know you. That's what I'm asking her. How did I used to talk? That's what today we are going to get to the bottom of this. She knows me and I want her to tell me, how did I used to talk? We are learning because some of you move around like this. Okay, so why did you decline to come in my video? Your stubbornness, you is proven right here. How did I used to talk as a Zambian? I don't know you. I've never met you. And I'm not even famous in Zambia. And if you knew me, then you know that Rachel Botta was called a village singer because my accent sounded Tumbuka. How Zambian did I sound? How did I sound Zambian? Because this is how I speak. This is the Nigerian accent you are talking about. This is how they speak. The only Nigerian thing that I speak is they become they. And it's not just Nigeria. Straight from a, a, a Jamaican, they also say they. And there are some other African countries, if you have traveled before, there are certain people in Africa that speak like Nigerians that are not Nigerian. Did you know that? I know my sister is the devil in her, but I just want I just want her to learn something. A lot of you, you get the moral of here. This woman does not see where her problem is. She's very stubborn and all of you see it, but that's why I say let's learn. Don't get angry at this woman. 
The devil is a liar. When the devil is making you look like a fool out here and is destroying your life, he does not warn you. He helps you to dig your own grave. A lot of you in this chat, you've already gotten the memo where this is coming from. And some of you are saying, why, sister, are you keeping to go? Because I want to show you something so you can see it. The only way you will learn is if you experience it. You understand? The only way you learn is experience it. This is what I was talking about. Are you bringing joy to the body of Christ, to the kingdom of God, or are you bringing confusion? This woman, and a lot of you are writing, she could apologize. Yes, I said that. She could just say, sorry, she's wrong. And a lot of you are saying she's stubborn. Very true. That's why I will not go deep. This woman would push me to speak direct over her life, and she would jump off her seat wherever she is. She would think I'm joking. But I will not drive her there because the devil is childish. But one thing that I want you people to learn from this, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The devil has no mess to come and destroy you. You see how ruthless this woman is? You know where the devil has no shame? This is how I look at it. That's why I love the God of Abraham. You understand, my brothers and sisters? The Lord has got wisdom. He will never allow me to look like a fool. This is a fool who woke up or whatever they are doing in their house, came to somebody's page, and out of their breath of evil, they just came to speak anything. Ugh. They vomit vampire, venom. You understand? That's why when I say witches, these are the witches we are dealing with on Facebook. If you are looking for witches at the witchcraft uh, in voodoo and this, this is the destruction. Exactly, Sister Victoria. And this is what I want people to learn. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Get the memo. Don't, I want you to see it happen because if you talk, it looks like you talk too much. I want to see it happen. The devil will come in your marriage, in your own home, in your own life, and he will tell you, that's why when the devil tells me I am this, my Bible tells me I do not accept what the devil tells me. So when the devil comes here with that Nigerian accent rubbish, the Lord already prepared me before he sent me out here on Facebook. I am here getting strong every day. The devil is a liar. The devil likes to bring destruction. But one thing that I want you people to learn, the devil has no shame to knock in your house because for me, I will never fight with somebody on their own page. You are a dog, a monkey, a fool. And the Bible says what? Very sure, my sister. Ignorance, you are so right. You can never go and knock on a man's house with rubbish. What does the Bible say? You cannot go into a powerful man's uh, powerful man's house and just come in like that and expect anything. She thought she would come with that rubbish here. But do you know the God of Abraham allowed sometimes even the demon to enter the, 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 the place where his most fiery children are. You know why? Hmm? Because the devil needs to know that God is not weak. He knows that. And that's why when don't ever allow them. you see how the devil is convicting me speak like a zambian i laugh go to all my pages i stopped being fake my sisters and my brothers let me just testify to you people when it comes to this testimony how the devil does not even know my testimony for jesus when it comes to this accent i used to try to speak like an american at a certain point with a clean accent you understand until i accepted myself so I used to always be the African girl around white people who spoke like I'm speaking another language when I'm speaking English. So that's why I know that the devil is a liar. But a lot of people don't know about the accent and how I speak. Satan knows my past because Satan has been in my past trying to deceive me and keep me from seeing who I am in Christ. So do you know what Satan does? Came exactly in the form of a human being, this woman. Decided to talk about what? Accent. This is why I want you to know that the devil will come in your home and convince you something that is not true. I am saying this to learn somebody. And I'm saying this for everybody. And my sister, don't feel offended. You are a Nigerian. I, you are married to a Nigerian. This is what I will share wisdom with. Let me, let's close this video like this. Especially because one of my good sisters, she said she feels very bad because 
I know how Nigerians are bullied online. I don't agree with it. I don't agree for any nationality to be bullied. Even Kenyans, I wouldn't agree. Especially she's a Zambian who wrote this stupid comment. She's a Zambian. And first things first, I'm, about, I'm two minutes away from blocking her. I'm about to block her because her pride has nothing. My wanga. Nilbenchito na wantumonga yu. Nga wale manyamuka chewe yambeti. What you can, I, in fact, maybe you should wait and hear the, the story I want to share. I want to say this, Sister Mag, uh, Millicent Bendu, you are one of my sister keepers here. You've been coming here for a long time. And I want to apologize as a Zambian on behalf of this Zambian woman. As a Zambian, I agree with you. And as people of God, I also agree with you. But let's not handle her in the flesh. Let's deal it with the Holy in the spirit. I know that what she wrote here is so cheap and low, and if she only had love in her, she would apologize. But this woman is a fool. And I say it out loud here. She's a fool. A fool is like a dog. A dog sleeps with its mother, its father, and its brother. No knowledge, ignorance, idiot. She does not know what this means like. She does not even know what it feels like. She doesn't understand how Nigeria is bullied as a country in general. But also, when you tell me, why are you speaking like a Nigerian? I know for you, my sister, who is related, connected to Nigerian people, you wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want it. And that's why, because she's from my country, I say, please forgive her. This woman acted foolish because if she had the Holy Spirit in her, she would understand what she did wrong here. And I'm going to share a testimony. We close this together in a nice way. Growing up, I grew up playing with boys more than girls. My whole life, I used to speak with a low voice. If I've told you how many times I've been bullied, you know, I used to, before now, I used to accept that I'm ugly. Do you hear my voice the way it sounds? It was too horsey for me. Sister Bendu, I want you to hear my testimony. I have moved my whole life. I'm going to my 40s. This person writing comments might even be a child. I'll share this with you. My Bible tells me that God does not take accent or race. He takes the heart in truth, in spirit and in truth. Sister Bendu, I've been bullied about the accent. Some said I speak like I'm from Uganda. Some said I speak like I'm from Congo. Sister, I've been bullied, especially when I was a teenager. I couldn't, when I speak to a guy on the street, women and teenagers, you know how we can be mean to one another. The way this woman is mean right here in this comment, bitter. They would bully me. At a certain point, I stopped to talk because I was ashamed. And when my friends would come around with nice people around, I, I told myself, you are ugly. Nobody wants you. And your accent is very bad. And because you are like that, the devil, everything the devil told me, I believed it. So every time, even when a person likes me and they wanted to talk to me, I always wanted, I always thought there was somebody better than me. And that's what Satan got comfortable because I grew up my life believing what Satan told me. So Satan got comfortable, but that's why this fool can't deal with me like that. And I call it a fool because it's a fool. And it's pride. Because it's not a threat. You kill by your word, you will die by word. You kill by the sword, you will die by the sword. Let me continue because she's writing there dramatic for nothing. But for you people who are listening, who feel like maybe they can learn something, I will tell you that the devil made me believe that even when I met my husband, it took a while for me to actually find confidence and speak this accent like this. I was the joke. Every time I said hello, even in school, my accent, and look at the way I look, I cut my hair. Do you know how it is when Satan tells people to mistake your identity for a, you are a woman, they mistake you for a boy? This woman is laughing here and sending rubbish emoji because she doesn't know my life and my past. But God knows everything and he will never send anybody to come and attack me on my accent because you know why? The God of Abraham has order. He knows 
the pain and the trauma I have suffered because of my accent. Had to go to a speech therapist to learn how to talk comfortably because I stopped speaking. But the devil does not see all of that. Eh? You understand? And he doesn't care. Actually, he doesn't care. He will go against exactly that. This woman doesn't know my life. This woman doesn't know my life. She does not know how many times I've been bullied. If I start crying right now, I'll kiss this woman. Why kiss this woman? That's why I told this woman, instead of humbling yourself and take the truth here, this woman wants to deceive the ministry. She can't deceive the ministry, Sister Anna. Believe me, every time this woman wanted to take from other people's attention, God will reward her back with that time because time is not hers, time is not mine, time is for the king of glory. That's how I look at it. I can't fight. I'll tell you the truth. This woman does not know. It was bullying. And yes, bullying is a crime. So you know what happened? I found Jesus. And you know what Jesus told me? Speech therapist could not fix me. Sister Manawan Yongo, maybe it looks like a joke to you. Speech therapist could not fix me. All of these things I faked American accent could not fix me. Never confident, never felt like I could be loved or anything. Even when I met my husband, it took a while to believe that actually he can love me for me because the devil had sent women like this woman my whole life because that's how he prayed to build me on. And even in my own house. That's why now when I stand strong and I keep talking, it's not because I want to keep talking. I want to tell somebody when the devil tells you something, it's not true. He's a liar, killer, destroyer. The devil comes to my page to come and remind me of my accent. You know why? He's jealous. The devil knows the past of the accent. But the child of God, child of God, would never come for my accent. I had a conversation with somebody. I said, you know what? I've never broken up to anybody. I've never a, a, a opened up and explained this. I started to explain to her that, do you know that at a certain point, I stopped speaking? Do you know comments like this one's Nigerian accent? Do you know how they could be gutting to me before? Because I'm the girl that even my own country, Zambia, this woman is for my country. She cannot come and celebrate her sister who the Lord has chosen as an apostle. She actually degraded me. The devil gave her the power to pass me as a woman of God. She went right in my underwear to go to the most what? Cheapest gutter shoes. Because that's what Satan wants. But I'm telling you so you can learn from this experience. I ain't mad. And I will not allow such things to get to me. I am showing you how to be strong. The devil says whatever he wants to say. God never takes my, my, my imperfections, my pain, and plays with it. God will never do that. Because you see how God has made me comfortable in my own skin. Happy in this accent. And my brothers and sisters, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let me tell you, now this fool can never stop any accent for me. Now this fool can never tell me how to speak. Now this fool is Satan himself. All is, it's a human being you see a name there. But I can tell you, this is the devil himself. Satan number one. I can't allow Satan to get to me. Whose page is this, my sister? Whose name is there? Who, who did God call? Who does the Lord know that dealt with a trauma and the most disgusting discrimination of all with my own people, with my accent? Me, I know. Who was there to heal me and fix me at a woman who is turning 40, but even in my 30s, I was still a little girl because I allowed the devil to get me. Sister, I am not going back. It is the Lord who helped me. And my accent, I know my sisters, in case the devil didn't hear. Now my accent do have problem. In fact, I have song for the devil. Let me tell you. <laughs> Come close. I can't shout very much, but I will tell you this is a song I made for the devil. Mm -hmm. This is for the devil. See, the devil will say amen with you anyhow, eh? but I know Satan. You can never be my sister. You are a devil. You want to rebuke you. You wanted to ruin the joy here. The devil sent you like the way he always sends my fellow Zambian people in their body and skin. But this time, I just want you to know, Satan, you sent a weak muscle. This one I can swallow high in one time. In fact, Satan, next time you are sending me demons, don't send your baby demons because I will knock her out and she will die straight away. 
send better demons for me, not these demons. These ones are they so Papa knows these demons are they swallow them. This nyang nyangaro swallow the devil. Yes, I know this is a devil, and I'm about to block it very soon. But first, let me sing this song before I block the devil. Let me tell you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Na devil be a liar, jealousy run with him. If they like to talk with no shame, I be less check wisdom and knowledge. When I enter a strong man's house, when I wanna enter free like that, no, the Bible itself says when you enter a strong man's house, you better enter with consuming fire because when you enter there and she see you, he see he go catch you and deal with you. That's why you die today, Satan. You enter wrong house, you have no shame. Take accountability, apologize to your fellow sister. I stand for you. Devil, you are a liar. Sister Phoenicia Manawa Nyongo. All of us, we are calling you devil. In case you are wondering, we are not calling anybody else. We are calling you the devil, the one living in you inside. Now, Satan, right now, we are calling out the devil that came out here. And Sister Phoenicia, you can call Holy Ghost fire liar. You are a liar and you are you, you are baffled, my sister. You are baffled. But since you do not want to learn, you are stubborn. For me, I'm about to block my sister. Bye bye, sister Felish. I'll see you in seven months. Okay, CC. God bless you. Yes, God bless you. Me, I'm blessed. Believe it, sis. I'm blessed. That's why you came to my page. If I was not blessed, you would have not come here. I'm blessed. That's why you have seen my name there. And before I leave, CC, in truth and in spirit, as a woman, bringing other women down does not help you. And if you are moving in the Holy Spirit, Accent should be the last thing you worry about. Start saving Jesus. Stop worrying about accent. And your life has got a lot of problems. You don't need it. May God help you, sister. And I rebuke that demon with various uh, Jezebel Ravane spirits on you. May the Lord deliver you. That's why I can say I'll see you in seven months. Shalom. At the blocker. Thank you. Seven months we'll see her. Yes. I'm blocking. Don't block anyone here. For what? Who is this one talking about? Don't block anyone here. Oh, this one is another... We are blocking with the block. Yes, baby. She's very stubborn, I know. Let her go. Anyway, let me close. This is what I wanted to say, but you know what I'm happy about? The Lord has done a wonderful job. They are enemies of progress. Don't give them time. And the devil will come in your home and in your marriage and try to ruin your life. And he expects you to sit. Those of you who are sitting, he will ruin you. Me, I don't sit. What Satan says I am, I am not. I am what the Lord says I am. Look at your life and ask yourself, are you a progressive giver for God and one who is helping the kingdom of God? Or are you an enemy of progress? Priority, matter, importance, what is value? May God bless all of you. It's all about Jesus. And we'll keep putting the devil to shame. I'm seeing you people tomorrow. And tomorrow we are then going to dance more for this session. We deserve to dance. And I pray that some people have learned something. Bye-bye.